In this video, I'm going to quickly go through the process for installing the H2 dual scavenge pump on the Porsche 3.4 litre flat six engine as found in the 996 Carrera. This is the original pump that's going to be replaced. To remove this, just undo the four bolts and then it will come out. But to get the new pump fitted, I'm going to have to remove the cam cover because we need to fit a suction pipe with a hole in the cam cover there. I strongly recommend downloading the manuals for the 996 which are available online and in there it details how to remove this cam cover. But basically remove the silencer, remove the bracket for the silencer here, remove the coil packs, undo the earth strap there, then remove the plugs in the end for the cam covers and then you have to fit a hold down device which holds the camshafts in place whilst these bolts are then removed and the cover is then prized off. So you break the seal on it with prising it off on these points. So I've got an engine over here, which I can show you the installation required for the suction pipe. So this is the, the pipe in the position where it fits onto the cover. So once the cover is off, I would clean it up thoroughly. And then we're going to have to mark with a position for the hole. Now, if you look on here, you'll see that the there's a basically interference on the left hand side between the, the pipe and the cam cover. So I would just file the edge off on the pipe to make sure that it fits properly and cleanly on there. Now that this is on here, I'm going to mark the position for the hole. I'm going to do this, just mark around the outside with a Sharpie. And then when that's done, I can mark the location. Here you can see where I've marked the center of the hole. I measured it as 12.2 millimeters from the edge of this hole to the center here, and then just center it up by measuring across the diameter there. The pipe itself, I measure as 13.3 millimeters diameter. So I'll be going with a half inch or 13 millimeter drill. Don't want any significant restrictions on it. Once that's been done, the cam cover can then be refitted as per the, the manual, along with the, the relevant sealant talked up correctly. And then once that's done, this pipe can be fitted along with the heat shield. The heat shield will need a cutout in this end just to clear the pipe. Once all that's done, then the rest of the parts can be put back onto the engine as per the, the manual and the pump can also be fitted. So when fitting the pump, it will just slide on on here with a new O-ring in it as well. I'd put a little bit of oil just on the O-rings here just to help them to go in. Notice also there's two different types of drive for the pump. This particular type that's on here is where it's actually driven off the camshaft. It's bolted to the camshaft rather than to this gear here, which means that there's extra force put on the, these bolts, on the clamping force of these bolts. If you compare that with this gear here, you see that this on this one, it's actually all the, the force is all taken onto, directly onto the chain. It's nothing to do with the timing on the camshaft. So if the engine was coming apart for anything more significant, I'd look at changing the gear for one of these. So that's the, the installation complete. It can be done in the vehicle and has been done a number of times. Um, but if the engine is out, it just makes access that much easier. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.